passionate. I work hard so when it pop, it ain't on accident. Yeah, I'm always on go. Better watch your I go. Don't forget to let you know I be falling. Hi, let's welcome back to the channel. So, I'm trying to see if this brightness is okay. I'm not really sure. Alright, so um, I'm doing a review. My lipstick is still not dry yet. I'm doing a review for Van Love Hair. Thought I lost the box. So I'm doing a review for Van Love Hair. It looks like this. This is what the box looks like. Um, and then the bundle just came in here. And then they sent some lashes that aren't even worthy of talking about. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the application. And I'll tell you more about the hair while the... Um, what do you call it? The got to be dries up. So I'm going to use the yellow one. Um, and this is what Scream and Hold. So number four. And just looks like that. It's pretty popular. A lot of people use it here. For the bald cap, I did the same method basically everybody on YouTube does. But I do have a video, I believe, um, doing like the whole thing. It was like a long process. But um, when I filmed it. But now that I'm, I guess, accustomed to it, it was shorter and I'll be doing things in between instead of blow drying I let it air dry so gonna take some of that got to be and I don't have like a small um mirror I don't I didn't think to grab one so I'm just gonna use the viewfinder as my mirror so just gonna take a layer of that and because I won't be wearing this all night or matter of fact it's like midnight and I'm recording so um because I won't be wearing this for a very long time I'm not gonna put too much I'm just gonna put enough so I'm gonna take some of the holding spray I think that's oh the blast and freeze spray and just spray two light layers so while that dries matter of fact hold on Okay, now while that dries, I'm going to take the unit that I made, and it is a lace front unit, and all three bundles are 22 inches. Um, is it dripping? Okay, all three bundles are 22 inches, and I did hot glue it, and I did already mold it into the ponytail that I wanted, so um, that's why it's already like in a ponytail. Um, let me show you the inside. So for my hot glue units, um, you can see like the residue, which in the video where I showed you how to make a hot glue unit, um, I told you the residue doesn't bother me because I wear a wig cap underneath. And even if I don't have on a wig cap, I still don't feel like the residue from the glue um, and the tape. So that's what the shiny stuff on the inside is. And then we just have the lace front. I added an adjustable band and I also sewed in a clip down here in the back. So that's how that looks the texture is so pretty um i did actually wet this and i put mousse on it um to mold it as well so i'm just gonna take some foundation powder and put it underneath here i'm gonna take this dark one by elf so it'll show up a little bit more and it's hard to do this because it's in a stupid ponytail well not stupid but stupid Okay, so just gonna take this and dab it in there. And you guys probably seen me do this plenty of times, so you're familiar with doing it. So I'm just gonna do that um, near the part and near the hairline. I'm not gonna do the whole entire lace frontal. <laughs> So I can't really see. And I'm just going to take the back of the comb and press down on the lace. 
And we're gonna do the rest of the hairline with my finger. So then what I'm going to do is take uh, my tail comb and some mousse and kind of fiddle with the edges a little bit but not too much um, because I honestly like the way that this looks right here. Uh, it reminds me of a wig I did back. It's, it reminds me of my Shanice unit on my website, which this would be a Shanice unit, just hot glue method because it is the Shanice unit is a frontal um, and it is water wave. And by the way, I didn't tell you guys <laughs> that this was water wave hair. So... Yeah, it's really, really pretty. I haven't done water wave in so long. It's just, like, it's bring me back memories. And I did use all three bundles. I will say, I didn't feel like it was a lot of hair on the bundles to begin with. And I'm like, maybe it's because it's longer. But it's only 22 inches, so I still expect it to have a little more hair on the bundles. Um, and I usually don't need three bundles for a frontal unit. But I did end up using three bundles for this, so... That's just a um, FYI, and I did not cut, cut. <laughs> that's not nice, okay, I did not cut the frontal down at all, I kept it 13 by 4, uh, so yeah, it's from ear to ear, I didn't really do much to it, I didn't bleach it, I did pluck it, and that was pretty much it, I did like minor plucking, I didn't do too much, so yeah, this is what it looks like, um, and like I said, I'm just gonna go fiddle with the edges a little bit, not too much, take some mousse and this is actually like really really low and this is from um this is the bb wrapping lotion and yeah because i don't want to lift it up i'm just gonna put it on the actual hair and bring it down with the comb a lot out of this unit and it's still a pretty thick hairline so I will definitely like if I was to keep this around definitely go back and pluck some more because I just feel like it's still not as realistic as I want it to be um but nonetheless the hair itself is beautiful like look at her okay not her but look at her she's really pretty the texture is really really nice and the hair is really soft and like I what <laughs> I did pluck like a lot of hair out of the frontal but it's still like I don't know it's just really the frontal is still really full and then the unit itself is just really full and again I use three 22 inch bundles and I will leave the length of the frontal down below because I don't quite remember but for the most part they don't go past 20 inches um from most companies so yeah that's van love hair this video is long overdue <laughs> long 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 overdue but i got around to doing it and i got around to slaying this unit so yeah thank you guys so much for joining i hope you enjoyed this was absolutely one of my favorite units i was about to say of this year y'all it's only january 11th when i'm filming this like <laughs> but no this is really one of my favorite units in general that I've ever made um, and I typically love when I do a frontal unit and do like the top knot I don't know it's just a fun flirty look so yeah that's Van Love Hair I've said that already I'm gonna wrap it up for real now definitely an A plus and just a disclaimer really quickly as I said I plucked a lot of hair out 
but um after it kind of not shed it but shed it the hair that i plucked out it still has a beautiful texture and all i did was wet it with water and took some of my bb wrap and foam lotion and uh yeah i just went through and i didn't put any like curl products on it like i would usually go on with the hawaiian silky if i want to do something curly but i didn't have to do that so yeah definitely some good hair and it held its texture after plucking and all of that because i know sometimes it tends to die down and i sprayed it a lot so um yeah they're pretty good so yeah i'm gonna let you guys go thank you so much for joining i do recommend this water wave hair um it's hard to come by a lot wait what <laughs> it's hard to come by some really good like really big water wave hair a lot of the time you get like the wet and wavy look where it's kind of you know flimsy a little bit you know not enough volume and i did have that issue when um making a custom unit for a client the water wave hair that i purchased was just like really really there was no volume to it really so i was like yeah no because in my pictures you know when i advertise my units it's looking full like this so there should be no reason that the hair you know that i send out is like not volume or doesn't have too much volume to it so um i would definitely choose or consider them being one of my vendors for water wave hair when i do make uh, the Shanice custom and the vanessa custom that's on my website so thank you guys for joining if you're interested in this unit it will probably be on my site uh, probably the same way same day that this video goes up because you guys know i actually have like 20 um you could have used a sink in there anywho i got like 20 more to make but four of them are ambassador units and then like it's just 16 that i have to kind of review and yeah so i won't be keeping all of these units around so yeah these will be on my site pretty shortly or this one will be and thank you guys for joining. I hope you enjoyed.